The engineer will prime and start the pony pump, or you may use the main pump. After this is completed, the engineer will charge the front bumper line. The engineer may then stage the desired tool at the front bumper. Simultaneously, the captain and firefighter will don the two hose packs with the hose clamps. At the front bumper, either the engineer or firefighter will disconnect the hose line not in use and deploy the 100 foot starter roll. Then the engineer or captain will charge the line and the firefighter will check the pressure, set the stream, and create an anchor point. The backup firefighter will remain approximately 10 feet behind the nozzle firefighter. When 10 feet of hose is left, the backup firefighter will yell out 10 feet. This lets the nozzle firefighter know to take a couple more steps before stopping, leaving some slack in the line. The nozzle firefighter will knock down fire ahead as well as cool the working area if needed, and then conserve water. Simultaneously, the backup firefighter will assist the nozzle firefighter with the hose's removal. The backup firefighter will deploy the hose, then yell out clamping, and then clamp the line. Clamping should take place near where the hose meets the ground. In the exchange, the nozzle firefighter will remove the nozzle from the hose line, placing the male end over their right arm, then place the nozzle in their right hand. This will leave their left hand open to receive the male end of the next hose. The backup firefighter will separate the next hose line and hand the male end to the nozzle firefighter's left hand, then grasp the male end from the arm of the nozzle firefighter. Both will then make their connections. Once you are complete with your connection, you will call out water 1. The next person will call out water 2. Once either person calls out water 2, this indicates to charge the line and the clamp is removed. The line is then advanced and the exchange repeated. At the end of the hose pack, the last exchange is made and the backup will become the nozzle firefighter. The new backup will then charge the line. terrain and vegetation is difficult to negotiate, the drop and drag method may be advantageous. This method has the backup firefighter deploy an extra roll at the exchange and pull the coupling along with the forward movement. The line can then be charged and it will follow the path of the other hose line.